Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to day two of the 2023 Inkvent calendar. Here we've got the Inkvent calendar. Let's find the magic door. So day number two, where are you? Oh, right up here at the top, staring me right in the face. So what's behind the door of day number two? Here we've got, well, it looks like a, like a dark pink, maybe, if we're just basing it on what we're seeing here. Let's move this out of the way. So the ink, it's called Cashmere Rose. So again, hinting maybe at pink color. Looking on the side, we've got a standard ink. So no shimmer in this one, just a nice standard ink. There's a bottle. Pop this to one side, don't need to shake this one. Got nothing to mix up, so pop that to one side. We'll start off with the swatch card. So in comes the coloring card. In comes the Q-tip, dips in, good old soaking. And then here we go. Looks like it could be a fairly pale color, you know, just based off what I'm seeing from the Q-tip. Do a single pass down the side. Just gonna load that Q-tip up again. I know I believe Q-tip's a brand name. It's not, it's not actually a Q-tip. It's just a bog standard, cheaper cotton bud from the supermarket. There we go. Pop that to one side so it doesn't mess everything up. I'll fetch you my pen, the Serendipity Dip Pen with the broad nib. So the same pen I'm using throughout the whole series. So we've got here, Diamine, Cashmere Rose. And this is Inkvent 2023. Day number two. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like a, a, a nice pinky colour. Not exactly a colour I would normally buy. It's one of the things I like about these Inkvent calendars. You get like colours that you wouldn't normally go for. Let's pop that to one side, give that a time to dry. Whilst that's drying, Endless Recorder Notebook, 68 GSM Tomoe River Paper. So this is what I've been using in the past couple of years for my Inkvent videos. So again, I'll just give that nib another little bit of a dip. So we've got here, day two. Cashmere Rose. It does look a bit darker on here. Maybe it's because it's had that fresh dip. Drying time, so immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. Yeah, another one like yesterday's looks fairly wet. Again, though, could be because I'm dipping the nib. Need to get into a pen to really see. We'll write the sentence. So to me, this, it looks like a nice, like maybe a dusty type of pink. Quite an unusual colour. Again, I don't think I've got anything in my collection similar. We'll have a look in a second though. Move this out of the way so it can dry. Whilst it's drying, in comes the advent calendar. So, right, Cadbury's calendar, we're looking for day number two on here. Day number two, where are you? Day number two, here we go. So let's see, what have we got today? This one doesn't want to come open. It really is, it's, it's stuck in there. I've got my trusty letter opener. Hopefully this will, yep, that lets me get in. And in here, we've got Santa. Santa coming along to visit us. So I'll pop that to one side. I know I keep saying this, but the wife will actually eat that, not me. I don't eat much chocolate. You wouldn't think it to look at me though. And then we fetch in the gift from my wife. So each year, for each day, my wife gives me various presents, normally either stationary or related to one of my other interests. I do have a number of interests. So what have we got here? Let's open this one up. Oh, I'm just gonna rip it. It feels quite heavy, this. Star Wars. And what is it? It's a set of two glasses. So here we've got some tumblers, some beakers. 
Star Wars A New Hope and Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Awesome. I love my my tumblers. I know I have my juice bottle that I have done during the mornings and quite often in the afternoon. But nighttime, I like my glasses so I can have there, sit there with a nice little drink, drop some ice in quite easily there in the summer. Awesome. Some Star Wars themed glasses. I love my Star Wars. Just pop that to one side and then we'll fetch back that swatch card. So here's the swatch card coming back in. So it's had time to dry. So yeah, on here you can see definitely dusty pink. Where I've gone thicker, I can't see any sheen or anything like that. Oh, I must have smudged that a little bit. I can still read it though. Not a colour for me, I've got to be honest, but you know, it's nice to have that different colour. So, so far, both the first two days we've had different colours. Again, because it's not really a colour that I would get, I don't have much to meet it or to match it. So these are nowhere near the same really, but sort of looking. So we've got Lamy Ruby, Pen BBS, Autumn Frosted Leaves and Royal Red. We'll fetch back in that Tomai River paper. So again, it's had time to dry. It's nice. It is what it says, it's standard. I'm not seeing much in the way of any shading, a little tiny bit, but that's more as the nib's getting drier. Still quite nice though, I'd say it's unusual. This is another one I want to get into a nib. This might be worth putting into maybe even a 1.1 nib, see what it looks like in that. So this is Inkvent day number two, Cashmere Rose. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you got any inks similar to this? I'd say it's not really an ink I would buy, so I don't have anything really to compare it with. Please drop your comments down below. Let's kit start the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.